mathematical reasoning is the fifth strand of math. So what is mathematical reasoning? It's where you are now integrating all the different math concepts and skills together. And then it could be either through structured or unstructured opportunities. So for example, if you wanted a child to count out the triangles, how many triangles do you see? So now they are applying number sense, counting, and geometry by identifying the triangles. Mathematical reasoning is a great way for children to develop critical thinking skills and also to apply math to everyday situations. Here's an example of a mathematical reasoning question that you can ask a child. Show them a picture of a birthday cake and then say, this is Jessica's birthday cake. This is what it looks like today at her party. So how old was Jessica last year? And so which concept or which skill will the child need to be able to answer that? Well, first they have to be able to count and then they have to know last year means that they were younger. So they can count out, okay, there are five candles. So that means if there are five this year, they must be one less than five, four. And then you can ask how old is she this year? And by the same, by counting and then associating the number of um, candles to her age this year. And then how old will she be next year? And so the concept that they will need to apply here is addition. Like they'll another year. So next year from now, they'll be another year older than they are today. So um, that would mean that they would be six years old because it's one additional year from the number of candles that they see in this picture. A great way to help children develop mathematical reasoning in a fun way is playing games. So there is a lot of board games out there that kids love. Um, I grew up with Candyland or Shoots and Ladder, Man Mount Kala, that's a classic, where they need to count out um, the different marbles in Mount Kala, Candyland, there's shapes involved, and then Shoots and Ladders goes up and down, and so there's spatial relationships that are involved in that game. Um, there's different card games that are really fun, and there's a lot of games that you can play outside. So hopscotch, that's a popular one, and have children count the number of hops or jumps that they do. Um, jumping rope, you know, have them jump with, do jump rope with their friends and ask them, how many jumps were you able to do? Let's do it again. Let's see if you can get more. And then have them count and say, Did, were you able to do more or less? And then so that's applying um, counting and then um, another game that can be played either indoors or outdoors is bowling and, and when they hit the number of pins you can ask them how many pins did you hit and let's roll the ball again and then they can count the number of pins that they hit the second time and then you can ask them how many pins have you hit all together how many more pins do you need to hit how many pins are there total and so there's so many ways that you can apply of mathematical reasoning in their everyday play. And then you can also make up your own creation and games and opportunities for children to develop this very important skill. So I hope that going through this math curriculum that you have learned just not just how important math is, but how applicable and how fun it could be, especially at the preschool age, and, and just to find opportunities for children to develop just good positive feelings about math and know that math is just a part of their everyday life and that it can be enjoyable.